I'm in receipt of my tax bill, which I got about two weeks ago. And uh, I come to speak to you tonight because I am retired. I'm on fixed income. Uh, we have money that we spend in our community and restaurants and other businesses throughout um, this town. Uh, but we are not made of money and these tax increases that we uh, experience over the next year are chasing us out of the state to live in a tax-friendly state. Uh, and I think that's happening in much of New Jersey. I, I really believe that uh, the taxes, uh, which were uh, under $4,000 when I bought here in 2001, are now double. Um, that's not easy to sustain especially when you're retired. When I was working, I just grimaced and looked the other way. Um, I live uh, in, in condo 6F on the top floor of my condo. My tax increase without the veteran discount is $1,750 a year. Um, my neighbor on 3F, three floors below me, has a $300 per increase, per year increase. You tell me, uh, but I know the answer because I call the tax assessor. Uh, these increases are, are killing us. When we bought here, um, as I told you before, taxes were under $4,000. By the way, Maurice, who I spoke to in the tax assessor's office, is uh, extremely polite and very business-like, and I wanted to praise him in front of you because he's doing a great job. Um, so let me say this. Um, I looked into the tax increase that my neighbor in 3F is paying $300 a year. That's a huge discrepancy. Uh, I'm paying five times more for the same place, same square footage as he is. And you know what the answer to that is? The answer is that I've got a better view of the ocean. I mean, when I bought there years ago, it was always that way. We didn't get charged more or less. And so I ask you to put it in relative terms, to consider this, maybe I have a ranch, uh, it's a one story, and the guy next to me has a, has a two story, and he can see better than I can see, so they charge him five times more. It does not make sense. And here's how I compute this entire thing. It's another way to collect taxes, manufactured way, so that you can get more revenue. And I understand that I was in business for many years. Uh, I understand you've got to raise revenue, but on the backs of retired people who want to live here and enjoy this area. Um, by the way, that $250 veteran uh, deduction that I have, was the same in 2001 as it is this year. So I say to you, if you're raising my taxes to the sky, why aren't you raising the deduction for veterans? I don't know. That's a question that you'd have to ponder. And I hope you do, because I come here as one of many people, but I, I must say, I'm not alone in what I think about living here in Long Branch. Uh, and to mention, I know you know this, uh, but when you go by the condos there in Pier 3, Pier Village 3, they talk about a 30-year tax abatement. And I'm sitting over at Ocean Point, and I, I don't have a tax abatement. So there's unfairness everywhere you look. Um, we'll have to make cuts in our spending budget to pay these increases. Again, I'm on fixed income. So I just wanted to say uh, that um, you're, you're taxing us into oblivion. And, and I don't think that's good because I'm a retired person, but I don't have uh, a lot of the uh, children and things that I had when I was working. And I, I have a few extra bucks to spend on the community. And Lord knows I do. But if you're chasing all the retired people out of the state because the taxes down south, let's say in South Carolina, or 1750 a year total, um, it doesn't take anybody to calculate the math to know that in fact, they might move down there to escape those taxes. I, I don't wanna do that. I wanna live here, I've lived, I've owned, I 
should say, uh, since 2001, and I live here now since 2011. So thank you. Thank so, you. Sir, I, if, um, 